Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to a new video. Um, today I'll be showing you how you can fire a gun really simply in Unity. But before I start the video, if you do not want to hear this, you can skip ahead a bit. But I really do recommend you hear, the, hear me out for a second. Um, basically, what I wanted to tell you guys is that the third person um, adventure game tutorial is coming to an end. There might be one or two more episodes, there might not be any more episodes. So by the end of uh, March... I will release the whole project for you guys to download and take assets away, add your own, tweak it, do whatever you want with it. It's You can totally do whatever you want with it. And um, by the end of March, I'm going to have to you know, get a new series to replace that one because that one's finished. And um, there will be a poll in the description of this video and every other video from now on until the end of March. So you can vote what you want to see. Um, I've been thinking about steering away from Unity a bit and doing, for example, live stories with commentary, gameplay, etc. I really like that idea. I really, I really want to do that. So I'll probably be doing that. And um, another option is to keep making these short tutorials about certain um, certain assets and certain uh, functions that you can, functionality that you can put in your game. And... The, another one, which is going to be like a whole new series, like the third person adventure game tutorial, it's going to be a, a first person platformer, it's going to be a simple one, it's going to be pretty cool, so you can vote between those three things in the description, so yeah, let's continue with the video now. So, uh, it's very simple to make a shooting gun in Unity, um, this is how it looks. So, um, you just know what you're happening. So, basically, you can walk around with the first-person controller you get from the asset store. And when you click um, your mouse, you can shoot. Now, uh, all of these balls over here, I'll show you, they can, like, either disappear when they hit the wall. They can um, disappear after a couple of seconds. So, I'll show you how you can choose what you want. But, um, let me show you how I set this up. So, so there are two scripts. Um, one is uh, for the... Let me just find them. One is for the gun script and one is for the bullet. Let me open up both of them. So, the gun script, um, we have a public... Uh, oh, no, that's not that. All right, so we have a public transform, which is the bullet spawn, which is the uh, position, the uh, scene where the bullet spawns. It's going to be in front of our gun. It's going to be a child of our gun. And we have a public rigid body, which is the bullet. We have to have it as a rigid body so we can add force to it so it goes forward. Now we also have a public float bullet speed, which is going to be basically the speed or the force that we actually add to the bullet so it goes forward. So now void update if get dot get button down fire one. So basically you probably have this input already because I think it's um, already there for every new project you start. But if you do not have the fire one input, uh, shit, did I really? Oh no. Uh, if you do not have the fire one input, just go to file. Oh, now it's going to... Alright, sorry. Uh, so just go to Edit, Project Settings, Input, and over here you're going to uh, have this Fire 1. If you do not have it, just make the size of the one that you currently have and then plus 1. So if you have 22, make it 23. Call it Fire 1. And for the positive button, you can have the left CTRL, so which is the left control button. And you can have the positive button, mouse 1, which is the left mouse button. Um, but you probably have it, so you didn't have to do that. So for the rigid body, we have a rigid body, bullet rigid body, because um, you'll see why. So we uh, say that um, basically what we're doing is we're spawning a bullet prefab, and we're setting it as a rigid body, which is this over here, so we can add a f add a force to it. So bullet rigid body is instantiate, which is a create. <clears throat> it creates a bullet at the bullet spawn position, and at the bullet spawn rotation as a rigid body so because now we know that it is a rigid body and we're using its rigid body component we can just go bullet rigid body add force to its rigid body component bullet spawn on forward times bullet speed so basically this is uh, the way that the uh, we're gonna add the force which is forward it's on the um, forward is on the let me show you uh, it's one second, yeah, so it's on the, when you go to local, um, tool handle, it's basically the blue, um, arrow, so you don't get confused, so you have to rotate it so it faces forward, but I'll show you that later, 
So that's pretty simple. And now for the e, um, bullet script, we have a, uh, it's really simple, void start, and we just destroy the bullet game object after a couple seconds. Because if we spam a lot of bullets, we're going to have a hierarchy full of bullet uh, instantiated bullet clones. Let me show you what that means. I just need to toggle off. Uh, I do not want to maximize it. So we can just keep spamming the bullet. And as you can see, the more we spam, the more the hierarchy gets filled with bullets. And that's going to slow your game a lot. So having this in the script is going to destroy them so your game does not freeze. And now on collision enter, you do not have to have this or you can. I'm just going to toggle it on. Both of these scripts are in the description so you can download them. Um, so this basically just destroys the game object when it collides with anything. So if the bully collides with any, the, anything, it gets destroyed. Pretty simple. So how you set this up, you get your first person controller from the asset store. You get a gun. I, I downloaded it. It's free on the asset store. It's called the hand patent low poly guns pack. And you have this front loader and a machine gun, but I only downloaded this one because I only need this one. I added it to the scene made it a child of the um, camera that you have on the first person controller i set it up so it looks pretty nice and i went ahead and made an empty game object made it a child of the front loader tune and i just uh made it position zero 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 and then just uh toggled it a bit so it's uh, like forward and i rotated it so it's um so it's bl uh tool handle uh, the blue one is facing forward so that's why we need to have it uh, the blue handle facing forward because here we said that the we add the force from the bullet spawn dot forward so that's the blue handle and uh, when you do all of that you just basically go to your gun and you add the gun script for the bullet spawn you put the bullet spawn there for the bullet uh, you have to create a rigid body, so we, we have to create the bullet. So basically just go to create, create a sphere, make it as small as you want. You can add a texture to it and add the bullet script to the sphere and add a rigid body component We because we need a rigid body component. Set the mass to, for example, I don't know, 0 0.5 is okay. This, you leave all of this and you just basically make it a prefab. Now I already have one, so I'm just going to delete this one and show you the one I have. It's over here, bullet, uh, as you can see the mass is 0 0.5, I toggled the bullet script off um, for some reason before, I do not remember, and uh, yeah, and when you do that, um, just go back to your gun script and drag the prefab that you made to this, and if you do not add the rigid body, you're not going to be able to add the bullet over here because it, it's, um, it wants a rigid body and you do not have a rigid body component so make sure you add a rigid body component because that's what makes the gun the bullet go forward and for the bullet speed I set it to 560 um, that, that's basically um, it depends like your bullet is gonna go really slow and ju it's just gonna fall down if the mass is too, mu uh, too big and the bullet speed is too low so you have to find a balance in between so basically this is how it uh, how it rolls now and it gets deleted after five seconds because I've added the script on as you can see it gets deleted and if we hit a wall um, it also gets deleted but it's not working for some reason right now let me just check real quick yeah, it should work Yeah, I, I know it doesn't work because uh, I haven't saved. Yeah, I have the save. So now, yeah, now it's loading and now it's gonna work. Unity is kind of crashing for some reason, which really sucks. I do not know why. Please, Unity. Yeah, so now it works. Uh, it didn't work because I did not save the change that I made to the script. So that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed this video guys um it's pretty simple you can add a lot of new things to it i might make a part two if you really want for example adding sound effects and adding um 
when you like shoot the gun like some particles fly out etc i might add that if you guys really want me to and yeah um please uh, go down to the description and vote on the poll i made it's uh, really important for me and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye